Hey guys, uh, Nenu Mishrikant, Java Full Stack Trainer in Wiki Software Solutions. So here we are going to discuss our second video for interview preparation. So our today's question is, what is functional interface in Java with example programming? So guys, uh, yes, functional interface is our interface. Functional interface is a interface which contains which contains only one abstract method in interface. So yes, guys, here you guys can understand. So if any interface which contains only one abstract method, only one abstract method will be considering like a, a functional interface. So you can give another name for this SAM. Some people will ask you in such a way, single abstract method in interfaces, then we'll consider as a functional interfaces. You know, in general, in, in general, we have three types of interfaces. One is normal interfaces, or you can say regular interfaces. Second one is functional interfaces and the third one is marker interfaces. So normal interfaces which contains any number of final variables, abstract methods, any number of abstract methods. So before 1.8 we have in interfaces only final variables and abstract methods. But after 1.8 onwards, we have default methods and uh, static methods. In our next video, I'll be going to cover what is the difference between default methods, static methods from interfaces. So from 1.9 onwards, we have private methods. Yes, I'll be going to cover these as well in our next video. So this is what like normal interfaces means yes we'll be going to considering final variables abstract methods default methods static methods from 1.8 from 1.9 uh, private methods so examples of normal interfaces will consider as a list suite map from collections these are the interfaces we can go and explain whereas functional interfaces which contains only one abstract method only only one abstract method in interface will consider as functional interface examples for functional interfaces will consider so comparable comparator you know runnable and so on and so on, I can say, for functional interfaces. And the last one, marker interface, you know what? Any interface in any, in any interface, which contains no methods, will consider as, will consider as marker interface. Marker interface will provides marker interface will provides only capabilities but not but not specifications we can say but not specifications okay so specifications okay so here examples for marker interfaces we know cloneable serializable serializable next and the last one you can say random access interface and so on guys this is what you guys need to understand about uh, normal interfaces functional interfaces and marker interfaces Let's say one of the examples. Here we are going to cover functional interface. I just created one interface test one. 
the test one contains only one abstract method. Whenever interface contain only one abstract method, we'll consider as a functional interface. From 1.8 onwards, Java introduced, there is annotation in core Java, which is at the rate functional interface. So that at the rate functional interface is an optional, but if you give, it will be more readable. So giving for interface, this annotation is always readable. So if you contains more than one abstract method, let's say show one, then it is not a functional interface and it is saying invalid functional interface annotation. Test one is not a functional interface. So we must need to have SAM. So SAM stands for single abstract methods. It can contain any default methods and any number of static methods. Of course, you can have any number of static methods, default methods, but it should be only one abstract method. So in any interface which contains only one abstract method, we'll go for these functional interfaces. Then the interview will ask you why we need, why we need functional interfaces. This is again one of the very important point to understand. Yes, the functional interfaces we are going to use for enabling what? Lambda expressions. So to enable, enable Lambda expressions, we need functional interfaces and to enable functional programming to avoid to avoid boiler plate code to avoid boiler plate code and introduced simplified code simplified code will use functional interfaces so this is where we will be going to cover in our next concepts what is lambda expressions what exactly functional programming so how our code will be simplified by using functional interfaces. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you guys.